So for the third game, um, at least for the last couple of days or whatever, um, we, uh, we played a very good team and we played a very good game. And um, I thought the changes that we made tonight made us a better team. I thought Lamar was exceptional in midfield as a freshman playing his, against Berkeley in his first game. I thought he played great. Um, we made the move to push Andy back at right back so that we could get some more wide play. And I thought Andy played very well out there. Um, so I thought the changes that we made in terms of helping us to be a better team, uh, put Dalton back in front where I think he's more comfortable and he got us the assist. Um, we got Nick going because we finally got some service to him. Um, so when you when you look at the whole package, you say um, that that was that was all things that I thought were very good. And then you sit back and you say, but you didn't win the game. And the reason why we didn't win the game is because again, that's our third time this season with three minutes left, we haven't been able to um, finish out a game because we made mistakes in the back. Um, Again, as we all said, we've, you know, um, tonight we defended our box better. Um, so, so again, I, I, could, I could list 12 things that I liked about tonight's game. And um, I feel very bad for the players because I thought that they actually played very well tonight and were committed to our game plan. And um, most of it was exceptional uh, tonight. So, I, I mean, I can go through the list. There's 14, 13 things that, that, that I walk away and I go, you guys did the right things. I, I don't have anything to say about it. And then came a mistake, and and then came, you know, a goal, um, and and that's the nature of the sport. Um, so, at this point, uh, we we are where we are. I think we we kind of know that we're in a situation where uh, we we have a very very talented team, and uh, we're bleeding goals. I think that's I don't know, nine goals in three games now, or maybe more. I don't know. Stop counting. And. Um, and, and that means that we need to do some things to fix our back line. And uh, one of the things that we sought to do, again, I thought making Andy a right back and that would help us. Um, and it did. I thought it solidified us. Um, but right now our pairing, and then I, then I brought Lamar in because I thought that would really help, you know, in terms of just kind of more presence and more defending out of midfield. So again, I, I thought all those things were, were fine. And I thought for the large part we did fine. And then, boom, goal, and there it is. Uh, what was your message to your team uh, as far as flipping the script with Big West play looming now? Well, um, you know, we've been in uh, four or five um, conference championship games, and I think five, but I think we're one in four or something like that. So, uh, you know, we're in a situation. And in fact, you know, I mean, I think our road to the playoffs this year are going to have to be through the Big West and, and a Big West conference tournament. It just is what it is. So um, I, I'm looking at, um, you know, can we find a way? I mean, we have a, again, it's a tough, our conference has not done great in non-league, um, but, you know, look at the score from last night, Cal Poly beats UCLA, you, you know, at, at Cal Poly, because we all know that's a tough game. And so there are tough places to play, and I think the two hardest places to play is at Riverside and at Fullerton. So, you know, we don't have anything easy for us uh, coming up this weekend in terms of conference play. But everybody starts out 0-0. Zero, zero. I know it sounds cliche, but it's true. And we have to go win the North and be a seed and get two home games and then play those two home games. And, and hopefully when all that happens, we look up and, you know, we've, we've done what we had to do. So in terms of Big West play, it just, it, it doesn't, I don't think, add. I mean, we always have the pressure to win, so I don't think that changes it. But more than anything, um, the only thing I'm going away with is, as a coach, we try to fix our problems. And and after nine conference games, non-league I mean, conference games, um, I think we fixed a lot of problems. I think we're a better team now than we were three weeks ago, um, but we're still bleeding goals. Is the mindset changing once you guys get ahead in games or once you feel like you have a bit of a comfort zone? No, I, I just, you know, I don't know. I mean, it, it seems like uh, Lyola Marymount, we gave up three set-piece goals. So, you know, we worked on that. Um, you know, I mean, right now, you know, without going into great detail, you know, our, our, our pairing right now, um, you know, Sam and Q, just between the two of them, we just don't seem to be on the same page. And, and uh, you know, again, it's, 
you know, three set piece goals is not necessarily in your center backs, but um, it just seems like as the game goes on, we get more spread out, we get more stretched, and obviously there's fatigue involved. Um, but right now, instead of being compact and tight and hard to play through, with, with the other team throwing bodies forward and it's three minutes left and you're down, and, and that's when we run into trouble, is, is at that point you have to communicate, at that point you have to switch off on men, at that point you have to yell at the player in front of you that you know, they have an extra forward up here, and all those things are happening, and, and we can't seem to sort that out. So there's open players, and then we make a mistake. And uh, so, at the end of the day, it, yeah, it, it, your center backs are responsible for organizing your defense with, you know, as well as your, as your goalie. And so, you know, right now, we're, we're not we're not getting <coughs> things sorted out. And can you take Can you take me through the the last minute goal they had? I know uh, Klinsman had a great delivery on that one, and uh, you guys didn't manage to shut that down. Yeah, I mean, look, I, you know. Again, I don't, I don't want to single out necessarily any one player. I just simply say that if, if, you, can score, um, if you can score with the goalie hitting a 50-yard ball and then having it go over your defense, then you know, it's not the ball. Um, you've got to be able to figure out how to get up on a ball that's played 50 yards. And, and we didn't do it. And so, again, it's unfortunate because everybody's working so hard and then you seem to finish it. And, so right now, yeah, maybe that's a little bit more on Sam, but you know, last game might be a little bit on somebody else. Uh, I don't know. Again, the dynamics of what happens between your goalie, your center backs, the player in front, um, that part of it is, is right now not, not working for us. And as I said, it might be good for 85 minutes, and it might be good when you're ahead in the game in terms of you know, everything's picked up, but the minute they start pushing players, the minute they start doing something different, the minute they throw four guys up the field, um, we, we, can't, we can't handle it. Uh, still managing to get great production from Kevin, and then Nick got into the act today. Can you speak to those players' production? Well, I, I don't think there's anybody, again, I say it again, I think, we're the, I think if we're not the best forward attacking team in the country, I'm, I don't know who else is. I mean, I, I mean, once we hit midfield and Josue picks up balls and Nick gets going to the back post, and as I said, today was very good because I thought Andy gave us some really good service on the right-hand side, which we've been missing. Pando gave us good minutes. So, you know, our, our front guys, uh, Nick, Ahinga, uh, Noah, uh, all those guys played very well, uh, very well. And, and once again, they got us three goals against Loyola. They got us, you know, two goals tonight. They got the goal we needed against UCLA. I mean, you know, it's, it, that's not our issue right now. Um, our issue is two, you know, two goals in college soccer should be all we really need to walk away with wins. And, and we're pushing 3-4. And by the way, I mean, obviously I thought, you know, Klinsman made four saves tonight, especially on those rebounds. Um, so, you know, we got two, two balls by him, and that should have been enough tonight. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. All right, thank you. Thank you.